whether it's in a one-on-one -on -one private lesson or like today in a YouTube video. My goal is to take whatever subject we're going over and break it down into its smallest form. Whether it's analyzing a full song, seeing how chords are built, looking at soloing ideas, or like in today's video, scales, I believe that breaking them down in chunks will yield greater results when applying whichever topic to the full framework. Now when it comes to scales, Yes, we do have the caged system, right? Which takes our major scale and breaks it down into five positions on the instrument. And when practiced thoroughly, that allows you to see essentially the whole instrument as one key, right? But now the question is, how can we break down our major scale into its smallest form? And that's by practicing it on each individual string. So with that being said, let's dive into today's video. So let's break down our major scale. Let's say we're in the key of C for right now. C major being made up of C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. No sharps or flats. Essentially all the white keys on the piano. Now how is the major scale made? What's the formula? We have a whole step between the root and second degree, whole step again between the second degree and the third degree, half step between third degree and fourth degree, whole step between the fourth degree and the fifth degree, whole step again between the fifth degree and the sixth degree, whole step one more time between the sixth degree and the seventh degree, and then half step from seven to one. And that's our major scale formula. This is not a life-changing subject. I'm, and I'm sure the majority of you already know how to play your major scale. But the point of this, you know, is to just change it up and see the scale as opposed to vertically, seeing it as horizontally, up the fingerboard this way. And when it comes to, let's say, in this case, the key of C, practicing it on individual strings, will not only see vertically, but it'll also make you think because you're not starting from the root, right? Top string, E, F, G, A, B, C. Let's do one more. D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Starting from the second string makes you start from the major seven. B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. One more octave. Right, at that point, you know, doing the A, B, C, I switch strings to the high E string. Starting from the G string, starts you the scale on the fifth degree. G, A, B, C. Even there, going E, F, G, A, B, C, I transitioned from the third string to the second string, then the first string. Started from the D, and I'm sure you're seeing a pattern, starts now from our second degree, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, E, F, G, A, B, C. And so on and so forth. Again, it's just you viewing the major scale horizontally as opposed to vertically because 
I know from personal experience, once you get in this vertical mindset and hate to say it, like very shape oriented, which isn't a bad thing, seeing it in a different view horizontally, right? May take a bit of time, but it's equally as beneficial to understand that concept as it is seeing your normal scale patterns. Also, because like we just saw, we're not starting from the root. So let's say now we go to the key of G major. Being in the key of G major now introduces our first sharp, G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G. So by starting our scale, let's say from the first string, we're starting from the sixth degree, E, F sharp, G. Starting from the second string, starts from our major third, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G. G from the root, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G. Starting from the D, you know, starts from our fifth degree, D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C, D. Starting from the A, <laughs> our second degree, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G. Again, nothing sexy about this at all, but I really want you guys to be able to take the same idea and use it in songs, solos, you know, all aspects on the guitar. Breaking down the subject into its smallest form, right? Again, taking this that we already know, but can we do E, F, G, A, B, C. One string to rule them all. <laughs> Well, all right guys, that is today's video. If there's anything to take away from it, whether it's scales like we looked at today, a full song, a certain chord, soloing, breaking down into its smallest form will yield greater results when trying to apply the full idea on the freedom board. So with that being said, if you enjoyed today's video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.